In this video, we'll talk about how to get the rank position of the student's score in descending order and in ascending order. Hello guys, so in this video, we want to talk about how to rank um, scores. Here we have the names of the student's scores of the students who want to get the ranks of these um, students in the particular subject or text or examination so if you're new to the channel kindly hit that red bell subscribe button button yes that red bell subscribe button turn on the notification bell and give this video a like so let's go so all you need to do is to click on this place like click on equal sign on your keyboard once you do that you're going to type in rank once you type rank rank it this um this rank is available for microsoft of office 2007 and later version so you click on rank here once you click on rank you're gonna see number reference and order so we need the we need the number we need the reference and we need the order the order of arrangement that we want it to appear so to get the number just click on the first score on your excel click on the first score type in comma then the reference is the, the, the comparison, which other cells are you comparing it with? So we're comparing with all these cells. You select it. So once you select it, you have this. Now, one thing you should notice, note is that you must, you should always lock this reference. Now, to lock this reference, you simply click on F4 on your keyboard. F4 on your keyboard, depending on the keyboard they're using, sometimes you, you need to click on the function key before you can click on the F4. Now, if you click on the F4 on the keyboard, it's going to be locked. The reference is going to be locked by showing you this dollar sign for each of the before each of the letter and number. So we have this is locked. So now regarding the reference, the next thing you type in your comma. Once you type in your comma, it's going to ask you do you want to uh, uh, arrange it in descending order or ascending order. Now let's pick descending order. If you pick descending order, if you pick descending order, which is zero, or you type in zero, you close the bracket once you close the bracket you hit on the enter key on the keyboard once you do that you're going to see it uh, uh, the score of the first person so you come over to this small box here and double click on it or you drag it down if i double click on this now i'm going to get the scores of the other ones now the first position here is 97 so descending order from the highest score to the lowest what score so we are starting from the highest score the highest score 97 which is and jones so this is the two this person to the first position second position is 9 and uh, 90 so we have here so if you look at this now we have okay we have nine students one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine students so the the, the last position is the Brian Green. So this is how you can arrange that. Now, if you want it to be in ascending order, so if you want it to be in ascending order, all you need to do is come over here. Let's say ascending. So ascending. Uh, all you need to do is to come over here, click on equals to rank. Click on rank. No, not this. Click on double click on rank. Once you double click on rank, you select the number, comma, reference, select the reference, then click on F4, lock it up. Once you do that, comma, uh, ascending order is one, so you type in one, close the bracket, and hit on enter. So you can see it now, it begins with the ascending. Now this is it. Now the first the, the, the first person, this is the, the descending order and this is the ascending order. So now if we if you have students that score have the same scores, you, you take observation of what is going to happen. Now let's assume that this person, Michael Donald, scored sixty-four. This Michael Donald scores sixty-four. Now you notice that this will have effect okay now watch what will happen you're going to see first position second position third position fourth position fifth position now 64 64 you can see that the fifth position appears two times now after five you're supposed to get the sixth position but because two people score the same thing you're not going to get the sixth position because the two students are already representing um the fifth position so the next position you're going to get is the seventh position then the eighth position and the ninth position so this is how you can use the rank 
run function in Microsoft Excel. Thank you and see you in the next video.